hello hello and welcome to another video in my basic build series i'm your host blends let's get started all right today i'm going to show you how to make a tnt duper or duplicator this is pretty easy build here i actually got this off of an ill mango video and in his video he credited someone else i don't remember who that is right now but i've got a link to his video in the comments all right let's show you how to do it you're going to need these items right here so in order just to do the regular thing you're going to need five uh, whatever solid block you want one sticky piston, six slime blocks, one cobblestone wall, one detector rail, one minecart, a dead coral fan, one TNT, and then a lever. And if you want to make it so it's automated and, and drops TNT at a specific rate, you're going to need another wall, one observer, one more sticky piston, and then however many uh, another uh, solid blocks that it takes to make the amount that you want it to drop, and then the same amount of redstone repeaters and two redstone dust. All right, let's get started building it. So first thing you want to do is you want to pick a good spot. You've got to go, I would start 10 blocks, uh, I lost count here, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 10 blocks off the ground. That way when your uh, first TNT goes off, it doesn't blow up part of your machine and break it for you. So once you get up to 10, go ahead and get rid of the other 9 down and below it there. All right, then once you're up there, you're going to grab your sticky piston, slime block. You're going to do one there, there, and there. So it looks like this. And then on top of that slime block right there, you're going to put a detector rail and then a mine cart. Then in front of this block, you're going to put a wall, and then go off to the side. You're going to put another slime block there, one below it, and one off to the front. So it looks like that. And then underneath here, I've got to get the right stuff real quick. All right, there we go. And then underneath here, you're going to put down your TNT and your dead coral fan. That is your entire build. All you got to do is put a lever on there and then activate it. What it's going to do is going to push it forward so it actually connects just like that. And then once you pull it back, it's going to pull the entire machine back, and then you click it one more time, and it's going to drop a TNT, and it's going to explode. Now, if you did it too close to the ground, it's actually going to activate that TNT or even could just blow up half of this machine. So make sure you're up high enough like that. And then every time you activate it, it's going to drop more TNT, just like that. Okay, in order to make this automated, I'm going to show you how to do that real quick. So what you need to do is come down here. You're actually going to go down that far. And then you need to go out a couple of blocks, not like that, right there. And then get rid of that one. So it could be, uh, you could do it as small as that if you want to. And then you're going to grab your cobblestone wall here, and you're going to get your observer. And you're going to face it into this guy here. And then on the back of this one, you're going to grab your repeater. And this is the part you can change up if you want it quick. You can do it just like that and leave that at how it regular is, at zero ticks. And then you're going to put three temporary, or I'm sorry, two temporary blocks and one solid block there. Get rid of the two middle ones. Get your sticky piston back out and put it there so it's facing directly into that observer. And then what you can do is... Just put a lever right there and then turn it on. What that's going to do is grab that observer and then it's going to pull it back. And then when you pull it forward, it's just going to start dropping TNT. Now with this design right here, when it's going like this, you're going to see probably pretty soon one TNT go flying way off to the side. There it goes, just like that. Okay, in order to prevent that... Sorry, that's super loud. I got to turn that off. In order to prevent that, what you need to do is when it's at the stop position here, where it's back and uh, touching the sticky piston... You're going to come down here and put three blocks and get rid of the one that's touching the, uh, the sticky piston and the slime block. So it's just like that. Then you're going to come over here. You're going to put one in front of the coral fan and then one out like that and then get rid of this one. This is going to be the ones that are going to stop the TNTs from flying too far. So we're going to turn it back on and watch it happen again. Now keep an eye. One of these blocks is going to shoot off to the side and it's going to get stopped by those blocks. There you go. It hit that block right there and then dropped straight down. Eventually it's going to happen on this side too. But that will prevent them from going, and it's just going to go straight down that way. All right. Now, in order to make this signal longer, all you need to do is just add... Oops, didn't want to do that. You just add some more repeaters, more blocks down here. So let's just do it that long. I'm going to put repeaters here. I'm going to put a full delay on each one of these. And then you get here, just turn around. And you can do as many of these as you want to make it however uh, length that you want it to be. And then on the back, you just put two redstone dust to connect them. And then we turn it on again, and we're going to see that it takes a little while for the signal to get there. And then it's going to drop. Well, once it goes through it one more time there. There you go. And then it's just going to drop every few seconds. And you can change this however you want. If you want it to go faster than that, get rid of some of these, put them in the partial delay. And it's going to go a little bit faster. So yeah, you can just mess with that and make it timed out exactly like you want. And this can easily be part of like a cobblestone AFK generator or an AFK tree farm or really anything that you want to do. If you want to like hook it up to a flying machine and just dig giant holes in the ground, you can totally do that too. 
All right. If you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe and feel free to leave a comment about any other video you'd like to see. See you later.